For years, this has been the best-selling small car in Britain, and it's not hard to see why. If you've just passed your driving test, it's perfect. If you've just retired, it's perfect. If you just want a car for popping into town once in a while, it's perfect. But if you like driving, it's not so perfect. You may have heard us call cars wooden in the past. Well, the old Fiesta was woodier than Edward Woodward. This may look pretty much the same as the old model, but that new front end hides a happy secret. Without affecting all the old model's good points, and there were many, there's been a complete transformation in the way it feels, and that's largely because of a new engine. In place of the awful old lawnmower unit, this model has a brand new 1250cc 16-valve affair. It's economical enough to give an average fuel consumption figure of nearly 40 miles to the gallon. It's powerful enough, but more importantly, it's smooth. And so, it must be said, is the new suspension. You can hurry down a bumpy road in the new car without being bounced into the nearest field. In the past, you bought a Fiesta because it was cheap and simple, and you put up with the shortcomings. But in this one, I can't really find any shortcomings. Lo and behold, a Fiesta that's fun to drive. It's well equipped too, as well it should be. This gear model with traction control, anti-lock brakes and airbags is getting on for £12,000. The range starts at a bit more than half that. They've done a good job with the interior too. It's light and it's spacious and these seats are very comfortable. But I don't much care for this wood for a couple of reasons. First, it looks out of place in a car of this type. And second, <laughs> it isn't wood. But it's the only thing that's fake about this car. It has an honesty and a simpleness that I like.